Rakic from josephrakicfitness.com and today in this video I'm just going to be training my abs. As I go through my ab workout I'm going to tell you my tips, techniques um, that I have learned over the years of training my abs which has helped me develop my core. Now obviously the most important thing to getting abs is lowering your body fat which is done through diet and cardio and I'm going to explain more about that at the end of this video so stick around. Anyway first exercise that I'm doing is decline sit-ups. This is my third set right here. And after I perform this, I'm gonna give you a little rundown of the technique that I like to use. Brutal. Now, the techniques I like to use. When I have my feet in here, what I like to do is I like to push my feet up as high as I can and extend my legs, so I'm like this. So I'm pushing up as hard as I can, just like I'm doing a leg extension. The reason I do that is because it allows me to lock my body in there as hard as I can, and then it allows me to work my abs instead of my hip flexors. If I'm just loose in here, it's my hip flexors that end up working and pulling my body up. So having my legs locked in as tight as I can really allows me to put that stress onto my abs. Then, muscle-mind connection is important. I'm not just sitting up. Just sitting up is working my hip flexors. I'm tensing, squeezing, contracting my abs. Therefore, the stress is on my abs, not my hip flexors. Third tip, when I do the crunch, I stop just short of lying down. Reason being is because if I go right the way down and I lie down, my abs get a rest. I don't want my abs to rest, I want my abs to be under constant tension. So I stop short of lying down and repeat that back up. I also go for about 20 reps. All right, next set. I'm just gonna find my water bottle. Next exercise I want to show you guys, bench jackknives. The importance for doing a bench jackknife all comes down to squeeze and contraction. I'm also going to show you um, a way how to increase this exercise and make it harder for yourself. Ass on the end of the bench, hands back here. Ribs, I held it for about half a second, maybe a second, and just focus on that squeeze and that contraction because that is the most important thing. Don't just go through the motion, don't just go through the movement, focus on the muscle being worked and contracted. Now I'm going to show you how to increase resistance. So, when you guys are doing a bench jackknife, you're working your abs from crunching your body forward, and you're also working your abs from crunching your lower body, your legs up. So, to increase the resistance, we're going to hold this in between our feet. Third exercise for this ab workout, we are doing standing cable crunches, um, doing it reverse. Now the reason we're doing it reverse is because we want our hips and our ass against this. That way it prevents us from going out like this, which deactivates the abs. So if you do it this way and your ass goes out, all you're doing is deactivating the abs and defeating the purpose of doing your work in the gym. So we are turning around, having our feet and our ass against the pole. Now, we're not gonna pull down with our arms, 
we're just going to hold on with our arms. We're going to use the abdominal muscles to do all the work. So tense, squeeze, come down. enjoy that exercise so much is because it allows us to add weight overload to the muscle. Muscles grow from stress, many different types of stress, weight overload, stress overload, time under tension, repetition. For abs, a lot of the way that you apply stress is repetition and stress overload. Hanging leg raises, decline sit-ups, exercise you can't really add much weight to the muscle. So performing a reverse cable crunch allows us to put some decent weight on the muscle which increases the size of the abdominal muscles. Now, the bigger your abdominal muscles are, the deeper your cuts will be, providing that your body fat is low enough. Now, after I've done my next set on this, I'm going to explain to you exactly what you guys need to do in order to lose your body fat and get the best set of abs with the deepest cuts. So, my last set. tip when training your abs is if you don't feel pain, you don't feel it burning, you're doing it incorrect. So change it up, change your technique, and focus on the abs being worked. Now, the most important thing guys, if I go this way, I'm going to take a sit down to explain this one. <laughs> so, the most important thing ever for getting a good set of abs is lowering your body fat. No matter how much ab work you do in the gym, if you don't have low body fat, you're simply not going to see your abs and you're not going to have those deep cuts. So lowering your body fat is the most important thing. Now how do you lower your body fat? That is done through diet and cardio. In order to lose body fat, you must be in a calorie deficit. That means consuming less calories than what you burn on a daily basis. So there are a few ways that you can do this. You can either consume less calories, less meals, smaller portion sizes, less food. That is one way of consuming less calories to put yourself in a deficit. Another way is to be more active, burn more calories through exercise, and do cardio. The more calories you burn through exercise, the more calories you can eat. But now, if you reduce your calories and you increase your energy expenditure, more workouts, train harder, train longer, more active during the day, perform in cardio, then that would be the optimal scenario for you to lose body fat. Calorie deficit plus cardio plus weight. However, there is one thing where most people screw up, and that thing is consistency. People follow a diet and they follow a training program and they stay on it for about a week and they don't see results, so they fall off. They go to their cheat meal and it turns into a binge, and then they start again. That is why people don't get results. Consistency is the most important thing. If you can be consistent and stay consistent, for a good three, four, five, six weeks, you're gonna get phenomenal results that you won't even be able to believe. Trust me, I guarantee that. Now, if you're not sure how much calories you should consume, how much protein, how much carbohydrates, and how much fats, I can help you there. Um, and if you join my program by clicking the link in the description box down below, I can create the perfect meal plan based around the food that you love and enjoy with all calories, macronutrients, protein, carbs, fats, met perfectly for you and your goals. Plus, you'll get a workout program and my extreme abs workout with the best and most effective ab exercises so you get the best and most ripped core. Not to mention, if you are a JRF client, you get 24 seven customer support for myself, my support team, you get access to my private Facebook members only group, plus a whole lot more. So if you're serious about changing your life, changing your physique, sign up to my program today. Hold yourself accountable for just four weeks and I guarantee you're gonna see some pretty insane results. I'll just put some of my client transformations up on the screen now um, so you can just see what some of my clients get from following my diets and workout programs. And the best thing, guys, if you're not happy or you're not satisfied or you don't get any results on my program, 
I'll give you 100% money back guarantee, no questions asked. So you've literally got nothing to lose apart from body fat. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, make sure you check out my website. The link is in the description box down below. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a few things. I'm super hungry, so I am off to eat right now. But thank you once again for watching. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel because every day I drop new content. Peace.